What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more ranked competitive double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a team that features one of my favorite Pokemons of all time, which is Excadrill. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, how many times do I have to tell you? Scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button because about 60% of my viewers are not subscribers. That just blows my mind. So if that's one of you guys, scroll down a little bit and click that subscribe button. Seriously, join the community. You won't regret it. You will not regret it. But this team right here was actually sent in by a fan and I realized it was actually made by James Beck. If you guys do not know who James Beck is, he's another YouTuber who makes Pokemon content. So shout out to him for making this team. I will be leaving a link to his channel down in the description below. Definitely go check out his content. Leave him a follow, all that good stuff. But let's get started here with a team preview with the one and only Tyranitar. Tyranitar is sitting here with that Focus Sash as his item and Sandstorm ability to pair it well with that Sand Rush Extra Duel. We got Ancient Power, we got Dark Pulse, we got Taunt, and we got Protect for this thing's moveset. Next to him is the Heart and Soul of this team. And like I said in the beginning, one of my favorite Pokemons of all time. If not, it is my favorite Pokemon. I love Extra. I just think it's designed super cool. And I love its typing. Ground Steel. Can't go wrong with that. Cannot go wrong with that. It's got Sand Rush. It's got Life for Bats. I'm going to make it hit harder. And then we got EQ, Iron Head, both for stab damage, Sword Stance to set up, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Middle left is going to be Tapu Fini over here. And Tapu Fini is just great in all situations. Got that Misty Surge, got that Leftovers as an item, and then we got Muddy Water, Moon Blast, Calm Mind, and Protect, a fairly normal moveset for any Tapu Fini. Right next to Tapu Fini is going to be Thunderous. Not just any Thunderous, Defiant Thunderous. This thing comes in here with an Intimidate or any stat change. It's going to get a times two attack boost. So it's going to go up plus two on attack, and it's just going to be able to roll out and hit like an absolute truck. We gave this thing the Assault Vest, so you know it could soak up some special attacking shots. Then this thing's rocking out with the moveset of Wild Charge, Fly, Superpower, and Lash Out. Bottom left-hand corner is Darmantan. I haven't seen Darmantan in a while, so this one's going to be fun. It is going to be fun. So Darmantan's over here with a Choice Scarf, which makes him faster, but only locking him into one move. And then he also has Gorilla Tactics, which is basically like a Choice Ban, but as an ability. It locks him into one move. Well, it doesn't lock him into, but it makes the first move and only the first move that you use do more damage. So using this ability and item combo it's kind of like having a choice scarf and a choice ban at the same time it's really cool i cannot wait to showcase this pokemon and showcase how much damage it can actually do this thing has icicle crash eq rock slide and flare blitz as just a great coverage move move pool with one big stab move which is icicle crash final pokemon on the team is going to be our restricted mon and that is going to be shadow rider calyx such an absolute beast of a monster or not monster of a pokemon in this game it hits like a truck with astral branch this thing also has expanded force to do more damage and then we got substitute to set up and protect for our fourth and final move ability for this thing is going to be the as one obviously and then the item is going to be that spell tag to give that ghost damage a little bit more of a boost guys if you want to try this team for yourself rental code will be at the bottom of the screen but let's get after it let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this life orb sand rush x team I didn't even realize it. It is a brand new season. We just ended in the Master Tier at 2,624, I think it said. I think it said something around there. We didn't really grind that much, but hey, yo, we'll take it all day. We'll get all that BP from our gifts. We're chilling here. But new season? Let's get started off to a strong note. But guys, before we get into our first battle, let me know down in the comment section down below for question of the day. What are your guys' overall thoughts on the Series 12 rule set? It's just been announced. It will go live on February 1st, I believe. And it is allowing two restricted Pokemon. Two of them. You can go Groudon, you can go Kyogre on the same team. It is crazy. I believe Dynamax is still in the format. It said Dynamax, but I don't know if it said no Dynamax or Dynamax. I totally forget. But the main thing is two di or two restricted mods. That is just crazy. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section down below. But we're going up against a Yavelta team here in Battle Number 1. This seems looking pretty cool. Seems looking pretty cool. It's looking pretty strong as well. It has Incineroar, Grimmsnarl, Yavelta, Landorus, and then Torkoal and Venus Recompo. So, weather is definitely going to be a factor. I might want to just lead the Exegel and bring Titar in the back in case he wants to lead weather. Um, is that what I want to do? I could see him leading, uh... I could see him leading Incineroar. I'm going to go Exegel and Thunderous and then have Tyranitar in the back. I think this can work really, really well. I'm just thinking, like, if I go into Exegel here and he, uh... And he goes into his Sun Squad, then I could just swap him into Titar. But say he goes into Incineroar, I can have that Defiant back me up with this Thunder. So I like where we're at. I like where we're at. I think Kalex is going to be our final Mon, right? Kalex is looking pretty good. Cannot go wrong with this Pokemon. It hits too hard. Let's bring him in here and look to grab ourselves a win for the first or the, for the first battle for the new season. But yo, I haven't seen Yavelta in a while, and I, and I really want to use a Yavelta team recently. But I just haven't really seen it. I just it hasn't been that viable. But yo, I saw this team. I was like, I gotta use it. I haven't used Excadrill in so long. You guys remember my first ever Pokemon Sword and Shield video? I used a Tyranitar and Excadrill team. And I absolutely, I just love that combo ever since. I love that combo ever since. Like, it's just so much fun to use. 
and it's so not like a staple in the meta so it's like a little bit different so i really do enjoy it i really do enjoy it every time i use it but let's see who this person leads show me maybe sun squad let's see he's gonna go into awesome there it is baby defiance going to poke we are now plus one onto our landers or out onto our thunders and we're sitting in a great spot i can go into eqs for free which is wonderful and i think we're just gonna dynamax thunders here he gives me no reason not to dynamax thunders right not one reason he might fake out my extra drill, but yeah that's totally fine i'm just gonna go for the eq alongside with the uh with the dynamax here and i could go for a knuckle oh i could indeed go for a knuckle or i can go for the speed i mean we already have speed i'd rather get that attack boost start boosting my boosting my pokemans and then uh I just eq yeah i mean eq is definitely a play right i mean i think he does fake out my extra drill to be honest with you but it is what it is where do i sword stance well, i could sword stance now nah, you know we're just gonna go for the eq we might as well pop three eqs while thunderous is out on the field because you know we can't hit our ally pokemon with him on the field so i'm really like this we're plus one on attack we're gonna get after this and similar and we're gonna go for another plus one with a max knuckle max knuckle won't kill but i'm trying to set up the squad to do big damage we went Dynamax him, and then we could just go into a uh, Max Airstream, start getting speed, and controlling the battle that way. So I kind of like this first turn. I kind of like this first turn. This is exactly why I led this Thunders here. Let's see how this one plays out. He's going to Dynamax as well. Okay. That's honestly a little scary. That's honestly a little scary. Is that is it the Incineroar? Who are you Dynamaxing? Grimstraw, maybe? Incineroar's going to get the Dynamax. Okay. I see you. This going to be... Ooh. I've been seeing weakness policy Incineroar roll out. This could be a little scary. I'm not even gonna lie. This could be a little scary. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what this dude's playing. So no fake out's gonna poke here. He's gonna set up a reflect, which is a really smart play up against two strong physical attackers. And we are just gonna go for this max knuckle. Get out speed. And let's see if this thing's weakness policy. Like I said, I've been seeing a lot of weakness policy in cinema. We're gonna get that attack boost. We are gonna be able to drop a big old EQ. And show me this thing's not weakness policy. I'd be a little upset. I'd be a little upset. Let's see what he does. It is not. It is not weakness policy. That's huge. That is huge. EQ is going to poke out here, get off some lovely damage. Some lovely damage onto these Pokemon. All right, so we're sitting here. He's just going to go for Flare. I think that just, he just takes out my extra, right? No, he goes air. Okay, I'm with this all day. I'm with this all day. Yo, you keep my boy in here. I could go for another Max Knuckle. He does set the sun. Um, What's my play from here? What is my play from here? I, I'm thinking just going into an, another Max Knuckle here. So I'm thinking Max Knuckle takes you out with that plus. Mm, or, mm, I'm trying to think to play because i could just go yeah i'm you know i'm gonna do this and i'm just gonna go into an iron head here i'm just gonna go into an iron head here i think this max knuckle might be able to ko he's gonna withdraw you okay so he withdraws him and he's gonna go into he's gonna go into venusaur okay so we're, we're targeting down this venusaur we could get some damage off on this thing and he's just trying to get this thing out for speed just for some speed the max knuckle is gonna come out here he is gonna block it's a great low call by him and our iron head's gonna poke on this side Iron Head's coming across and doing a nice little chunk of damage there. Almost half. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, yo. Okay, so from here, I could honestly just do this. Hmm. Is that my play? I could go into... You know, I'm just gonna swap the extra drill and set the sand. I think it's gonna be my play. And then we can just knuckle and get this. Or I can just go for speed. What do I want to do? Because I can see the flare coming across onto... Ooh, he might flare again. Which is a little tough. Do I just take out you before he comes in? Yeah. Because if he flares, he's going to flare. I'm just going to go here and then swap my extra drill. Yeah, so I have to I have to target down that, uh, what's it called? I have to target down that instant ward because I do not want him gaining the sun. So I'm just going to swap into my T-Tar, take weather control, and hopefully KO this instant ward with his max knuckle. And get that attack boost. And more importantly, stop the next flare from coming in here and change the weather yet again. So let's swap the extra drill. Get in my T-Tar, baby. T-Tar in the house. Loving this Pokemon. So I think his plan was to get in this Venusaur and then like put my uh, Thunders maybe to sleep. But now we're going to be able to get off a shot. And then if he wants to put Thunders to sleep, it's okay after that. Knuckles going to come out here. Yo, come on. Pick up the KO here. You're plus one, baby. All day. All day. It's a great turn by us. Great turn by us. He cannot uh, change up weather unless he goes into like... I guess if he has Torkoal in the back, which I can definitely see. But I can also see him not having that because that could be the reason why he Dynamax uh, Incineroar was to set the sun. So we'll see how this one plays out here. He's going to go for that Leaf Storm. That's easy soaks all day, baby. Surprised he went for the Leaf Storm. That's easy soaks. Easy soaks come out here. And now we're sitting in a great spot. His special attack dropped a lot. I'm really not worried about Venusaur. I'm not worried about Venusaur. I can go into a Fly. I can go into Rock Slide. We sitting in a wonderful, a wonderful position here. He's going to go into... Who is this? Torhole? Nope. Lander's going to come out here. And Intimidate's going to poke again. And Defiant is going to proc. 
the fight is gonna proc so we we just gotta hope our thunders outspeeds and now we're just sitting in a in a dandy little spot here loving it loving it loving it tyranitar's attack stat is gonna go back to normal because we plus one it and i want to see what our uh thunders is at i want to see what our thunders is at. is he at plus three or plus two let's see he's at plus four god dang god dang thunders god dang um i'm just gonna go into a uh fly over onto this slot to be honest yeah i think it's gonna be a play go into a fly here oh no we don't have rocks up we just have ancient power ancient power might be a play or we can just go into a dark pulse oh we're special attacking oh i didn't even realize that that's pretty cool we're gonna go into a dark pulse here i like this hopefully our uh thunders out speeds but he does okay cool I was gonna say, I can see the landers being faster than us. So we'll take that outspeed all day. He's gonna go for a rock slide. My boy's gonna dodge it, and Titar's just gonna be able to soak it up easily. Mmm, yo, tasty snack for Titar. Tasty snack for Titar, and this thing shows that he's orb. And we outspeed the Venusaur, because, you know, no sun for him. And Dark Pulse is gonna poke here and get off some nice damage. Get off some nice damage. He goes for a sleep powder. And that's gonna connect on my Tar. That's gonna connect on my Titar. So now we just gotta hope that uh, Landers doesn't protect here. I hope that Landers does not protect here. There's another Buffet. Maybe we'll take out Venusaur. Maybe not. Maybe maybe not. So we'll just go into another Dark Pulse here, even though we're going to be asleep. And hopefully this thing doesn't protect it and Fly just comes out here. I'm going to withdraw him. Maybe thinking that we're going for Fly in that slot. He's going to go into... Is this Torkoal? No, it's going to be... Oh, he goes back into Grimmsnarl. I totally forgot he had Grimmsnarl. And he protect... Yo, what you mean? Nice turn. I'll give it to him all day. So we know we outspeed. Uh, my play. What is my play? I really want to get rid of Landers, but we still have like two great back end Pokemon. Still have two wonderful back end Pokemon. So Thunder's gonna take some damage. He might set up a. He's gonna set up a screen. He might set up a late screen, knowing that our T Tar is a special attacking. But I can just go into a straight wild charge here, finish you off, and then if we can get this off, we'll go for an ancient power, I guess. Maybe looking for that stat boost, but I think we're still gonna be asleep. We're gonna say bye bye to uh, Grimstar. Unless he's gonna fake me out. We think that this thing's rock and fake out? Most of them do not. It's not. Okay, so bye-bye, Grimstar. I'll get that thing out of my face. <laughs> Yo, plus four Thunders. Doing some work. We're going to take some recoil damage. But I think we should be fine here. Yeah, all day. We're not going down. He's going to go for Rock Slide, and that takes out our Thunders. He had a good run. He had a good run. But, yo, what a first battle. Let's go into distance. We're having a good battle right here. I'm going to bring out my Extra Drill here, because we might have one more turn left in the uh, the Sandstorm, which is really good. And then we just outspeed and pretty much just, just finish up this battle. So let's see. Let's go Extra Drill. And, hmm, I think I just target down the, the landers, right? I mean, Venus was on, like, 2 HP. Buffets will eventually take him out. We have a great back-end Pokemon with Calyrex, which hopefully we don't even have to bring. That's a victory in my book. If we don't have to bring our Restrictum on, and we win the battle that way. So I'm just going to go in here. We know we outspeed. We got Sand Rush all day. And Ancient Power, or no, Dark Pulse. Let's just Dark Pulse into this thing. Let's just Dark Pulse into that. He's going to protect. That's totally fine. My T-Tar should wake up here. We're going to hope. Iron Head's gonna come out, get blocked. Titar, you just wake up. Wake up, dude. Wake up. Yes, sir. Awesome. Titar wakes up. Dark Pulse is gonna poke here. Venusaur, get on out my game, yo. We don't want you here. We don't want you here. Venusaur goes down, and it's just a 3v1 situation, which is pretty simple. So we're starting off uh, the new season rather strong. 100% win rate. We're gonna go 1 0. We're gonna go 1 0 here. 1 0. With my boys out on the field. Look at my boys, yo, chilling. This is such a cool combo, yo. Titar and x -Jill, both of them look so sick. They just look amazing all around. We're just going to go into a Dark Pulse. We're going to go into an Iron Head. He's probably going to cancel battle. Yep. Cancel battle. And we start off 1-0. First battle went perfectly. We read the Intimidate coming in here. Led our Defiant Thunders and grabbed ourselves a win. We're hopping into our second battle. Going up against a Swift Swim Kyogre team. Oh, I shouldn't say Swift Swim Kyogre team. A Swift Swim Seismitoad team that features Kyogre. Because, you know, Seismitoad has that Swift Swim. Then he has Zapdos. He has the Weavile. He has Tapu Lele and Ferrothorn. So this is a really strong team. We got to have our weather combo out here just to get some work done. I kind of want to lead Darmanitan. I'm kind of tempted to lead Darmanitan. I think Weavile is definitely going to get the lead. So I kind of want to lead uh, Calyrex. He has no Intimidate. So Thunders is probably not going to come in here. So I'm going to lead Calyrex alongside with... No extra drill here. I could go extra because we are rocking protect on him, so I could just protect turn one if he goes into a fake out user. And then we can have T Tar in the back in case we want to just change up weather and get after it that way. So I'm really liking this lead. Loving it a lot. And then Darmantan in the back end. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Let's lock this one in. Let's look to go back to back here and grab ourselves another win in battle number two. But I think he is going to lead the uh what's it called? The Kyogre. And the Weavile. I think he's definitely leading the Weavile, but I think Kyogre's might come in here first. But Weavile, I'm definitely expecting, so I gotta be ready for his fake out. Hence the reason why I led the Shadow Rider Calyx. Can't be affected by it, and then we have a Pokemon that has Protect on it to block the fake out. So he's gonna go in. Ooh, neither. 
Neither, neither, neither. So we could swap for Size Patoon. Um, what do we do? What do we do? Just protect the extra drill? We could protect the extra, or we can just go into expanded force. This thing just gave us that terrain, which is lovely. Which is just lovely. It just gave us that psychic terrain. So we could go into that. We could protect our extra, which could be really good here. And if he swaps, he swaps. It's really not a big deal. But I could go. Ooh, is Astral Brash Call? He's definitely going to swap, right? So I just think going into expanded force has to be your player. The Seismato is really the threat. I'm going to protect you. This is how we're going to play this one out here. This is how we're going to play this one out. Let's just see how this one goes. We're not gonna we're not gonna jump the gun and swap weather right away. Because if we do that and he doesn't, then he's gonna have the upper hand. He's gonna be able to swap. He's gonna be able to get weather and he's gonna jump the gun. I'm with that all day. He's gonna jump the gun. And is he, he swaps his side it. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So we protect here. And this thing, nice little call by him. Going into Ferrothorn. Going into Ferrothorn and soak up some shots here. Shadow Ball's gonna come out here, and this thing's gotta be choice. Can we eat that? That's rough. That's rough news. That's rough news. Critical hit comes out here. I think it was KOing us anyway, but yo, great play by him. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. That was a great play. I could go into Darmantan. Which I think Darmantan is gonna come out here. Be good for us. Go into a Flare Blitz. Take out that, uh... Take out that Ferrothorn. I mean, Ferrothorn could protect. But yeah, we're just gonna go into a Flare Blitz into this slot. And then if we have to swap later, we can. But you know, I'm just gonna go into a Sword Stance here and try to set up my extra. I'm gonna try to set up my extra for this win here. I feel like we're in a position where we can really just set up this extra drill. I'm waiting for him to pull out the weather. We know he has Kyogre. We know he has uh, Seismic. We know what's happening here. We know what is happening here. So we're just going to be able to go into a Flare Blitz here. And he's just going to withdraw top of Lele. That's great for us. And is he going to go back into Seismic? Kyogre's going to come out here. So there's weather. Hopefully, just hopefully, this can still KO. I'm not too sure if it can. I'm not too sure if we can. And then we just swapped our Mantan next turn. And we kind of just roll from there. What about coming out here in the rain? Four times super effective. KO. We do. That is a huge turn for us. An absolute huge turn for us. We're going to take a lot of recoil damage. But, yo, I love that turn so much. I love that turn so much. So now he's going to be forced to either bring out Seismito, which I think. And then we just swap our our Mantan. Get our choice scarf back. And we're Swords Dance up. Loving it. 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 And I want to start going for uh, more so Steel Spikes. I think Steel Spike's got to be our call, right? Who do we target down? Who do we target down? Who is who is the main corporal that we target down? Because he has a lot of good Pokemon. He has both of them are really strong, and I think we got to target down this uh this Kyogre, right? We're just going to uh, I think a Steel Spike would be a bit better. Actually, now we can't. Let's go into this uh let's go into this Quake. Who are we going after? Because he has Dynamax. I feel like just going into you. I feel like he's going into you. He's gonna he's gonna change the weather into water again. We already know that he's going for a geyser. So, hmm. Tough, tough, tough. I could guard next turn, but it's just like, ah. Keep thinking of the next turn. Maybe we should have uh, went after a seismic then. But thing is, if we don't go after a seismic, then water spout is uh Water Spout's a huge factor if we go after a seismic. So Sand Stream's gonna poke here. We're gonna end up Dynamax and we should be able to take out Kyogre, no problem here. And I think we're gonna see a Dynamax out of the seismic dude. I think Seismitoad is going to die. But then we do have our Choice Scarf dude in the back, which might be able to outspeed Seismitoad. And if it does, that's that's great. That is great. There comes Dynamax out of my boy. We should be able to eat up at least one geyser, right? Should be able to eat up one geyser. Are you going to protect Kyogre? Please don't protect Kyogre. There's Dynamax from Seismitoad. Please do not protect Kyogre. Go into a water spout. Try to do something with that, because I, I, I need to get off this hit. We're Sword Dance up. A special defense boost will do us all right. We know Seismitoad is physical. Oh, no, he died. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So we Dynamax is this Pokemon. This is actually a little bit better for us. It's a little bit better for us. Because we are going to get a special defense boost up against a special attacker. Great all around. Seismitoad protects. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a great turn for us. We're Sword Stance. We're plus two. I don't think it's going to KO, but still, it's going to do a huge chunk of damage and give us that special defense boost. It'll be awesome if it can KO. Oh, my God. You're so close. So close to the KO. So close to the KO. We get the special defense boost. And what's he going to go for now? What is he going to go for now? He's going to go for that geyser. Can we eat this up? It's got to be going into extra, right? Or is it going into T-Tar? goes into extra. Can we eat? We do eat. So I know exactly what I want to do here. We have a focus sash. So it's like, yeah, let's go into... Uh, let's go into the guard. And then, you know, just take out... Take out... What's it called? Take out Kyogre, right? It's got to be a play, right? Going here and then going to our guard. 
Yeah, let's throw a guard up here. Because we have that sash, which means we can eat up whatever water move. And we just got to hope that one of his Pokemon go into my extra here. Earth power is going to come out here. And okay, that's blocked. Beautiful. And then is he going to geyser this way? Yeah, he's going to geyser this way. Our sash is going to trigger. We're going to be able to take out Kyogre and be sitting in a decent spot. Sitting in a decent spot. So there's that. I could swap. I mean, I probably should have swapped last turn just to get weather. But it's just like, dude, he's going to keep going for the geysers. He's just going to keep doing that. Dark Pulse doesn't kill. What? What you mean? Yo, what is going on? What is your special attack? What is your special attack? It's Max, and that didn't kill? What? What? Oh, my Lord. That, that just lost his game there. That just lost his game. Are you kidding me? That is whack. I'm upset. I'm upset. We're going to lose this battle. This one is 100% over. We're going to double down into Kyogre because we know, you know, like he poses that threat. Actually, I'm going to go after Sideswim. But dude, that Dark Pulse didn't kill? Bro, what you mean? What you mean? Earth Power is going to poke here. We're going to say bye bye to Extra Drill. We're going to say bye bye to uh, T Tar here. And dude, what you mean? We could have been sitting in a solid spot. We could have been sitting in a solid spot. This thing shows that he's Orb. Cool little Seismic Toad here. And now it's over. Now that it is over. We're going to go one for one. We got to hop into our third and final battle. Look for that winning record. Dude, I can't believe that. The thing was already low enough to begin with. Already low enough to begin with. Next thing you know, thing lives on one HP. Come on, yo. T-Tar, you got to do more damage than that. You got to do more damage than that. We're going to bring out our lovely little Darmanitan here. And I guess we got a choice into an EQ, right? I guess we have the choice into an EQ. Right? I mean, it's our only it's our only option. It's our only option. We will have Gorilla Tactic, so if we can KO. This could be good, but we're going to have the choice here. We are going to be able to kill the Kyogre and maybe kill Seismo. Probably not kill Seismo. It's not Stab. Seismo is uh, kind of light. He's kind of a lightweight. He just hits really, really hard with Swiss one. So we're going to go in here and he just outspeeds me. That's GG's. That is GG's. That is GG's. EP comes through here. KO's my Darmantan, and we end up losing battle number two. Let's hop into our third. And look to grab ourselves that winning record with this team. The Kyogre teams get the best of us again. I'm still upset that our Tyranitar did not pick up that KO. That was so upsetting. It really was, because he was legit so low, and I was just like, all right, we'll Dark Pulse in here. We'll finish off the Kyogre, and then we'll be sitting in a solid spot to maybe win the battle. And the next thing you know, this thing lives. I'm like, what? So Titar is right now revoked of all of his attacking moves. He's not allowed to attack anymore. If we bring him in, it's only there for Sandstorm and only. So, no more attacking with Titar. He's revoked. He's revoked. But, hopping into our third and final battle. Let's grab ourselves a winning record for today's video. Guys got a Zamazenta team. Pretty cool Zamazenta team. With Rillaboom, Metagross, Salamence, Urshifu, and Thunderous. Okay. Uh, he has no Intimidate. Actually, he does. Salamence is Intimidate. But, I still want to go in the Extra Drill. And, hmm. Extra Drill and Titar is kind of looking nice. It is kind of looking nice. So, you know what? I am going to lead it. I am going to lead it. And I'm also going to bring Darmanitan, because, you know, Darmanitan's cool. And then last but not least, I think Calyrex should come in here. Right? Bringing Calyrex. Yeah. Gotta love it, yo. Calyrex is just too good. It's just too good. Let's lock it in here. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But we're kind of hoping he's not leading that Intimidate. I really don't see it happening. I kind of see maybe Rillaboom coming out here turn one, or maybe even Zamazenta. So, we shall see. We shall see. If he leads Intimidate, I'm going to be a little upset. I'm going to be a little upset, but, you know, we'll work around it, and we'll grab ourselves this win. I'm promising you guys this one. You know what? I'm promising you guys this one. Let's see who he goes into. He's going to go into... Bum, 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 Rillaboom and Thunders. Okay. Totally cool with me. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So he does have Fake Out ready to roll. I think I just Dynamax my Extra Drill. I think I just Dynamax the Extra Drill and maybe protect my T-Tar here. You know what? I could just go for an Ancient Power. What's your plan here? I think I have to protect my T-Tar here. I think I have to protect T-Tar. Go for maybe a... Hey, uh, what's it called? Go for a sword stance and protect the T-Tar. Could be good. No, no, no. Because he's going to fake out one of my users. He's going to fake out one of my users. I'm just going to go straight into the Dynamax. We're going to get this defensive boost. And we're just going to protect this boy. That's our play. This is our play all day. Let's see how he, how he plays this one. He has no weather control on his team. So it's really, really good. He's going to end up withdrawing you. Awesome. And who's he going to go into? Zama's head. Okay, I'm cool with that. He's a physical attacker. We are going to get a defense boost for the squad. And I'm digging it. I'm digging it, yo. Extra drill getting that Dynamax. Loving this X key. Loving this X key. So he swaps into uh, Zamazetta. Uh, I think he thinks we're targeting down that slot. Maybe with like a rock move or something. So 
That's fine by me. That's fine by me. He shows another Pokemon. We're kind of starting to know his team. We know three of the four. And he only knows two of ours. He only knows two of ours. We down max the x -key, And hopefully the Fake Out's coming into the T-Tar slot. Or, or Glide. That's what I'm predicting. So let's see how this one plays out here. He's going to go for a Glide into Excadrill. Wow. A Glide into Excadrill. That's crazy. He was reading the Protect. It's going to pop out here. Get off some huge damage. Bring this thing down into the red. I could Glide. Uh, I could. Uh, I could. Actually, no. I, I, I was going to say I could Max Guard. But we have a defense boost. We should be able to soak up whatever he has to offer. Buffets will take out the Roll Boom next turn. Actually, no, it won't. I was gonna say it will, but the you know terrain's giving them health. Terrain is giving them health, so let's just go into a quake in his Amazetta. Gotta be your play. And then Dark Balls taunt ancient power. I mean, we might as well go into an ancient power here. To be honest, let's go into this ancient power. Try to get that stat boost because if we can get all the stat boosts with ancient power, it could be awesome. He's gonna end up protecting you. That's fine by me. And I think a glide's gonna poke on Titar now and trigger a focus dash, right? Now he goes back into Exky, dude. He's going back into Max Girl. And I'm cool with that because Exky is soaking up the shots. And Titar still has his focus dash. So Quake's gonna poke out here. Do some nice damage on this thing, even though it's protected. And we'll get a special defense boost. So he still has his Dynamax, and it could be scary for a back end Pokemon. Because you know that's always scary when you don't have a Dynamax and they still have one left. It's always scary. We're going to lose some HP, and we're just going to go into an Ancient Power. Give us a stat boost. Give us all these stats. Give it all to us. And yo, look at that. Tyranitar got a kill. He killed him. Awesome. Give us a stat boost. No stat boost comes out here. And Excadrill should be able to get off one more turn here. Because we are fastest on the field. So we should be able to get off one more turn. He might max guard or guard the uh, Pokemon that he throws out here. We shall see what he does. It's going to be Urshfu. So is going to come out here. And what is Urshfu going to do here? What is Urshfu going to do here? We're definitely going to Quake on you. And, hmm. Do I go after Urshfu? I mean, Urshfu could go. He can do a lot here. He could do a lot, but we do have some good back-end Pokemon, like these two that outspeed him. Okay. Okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with going into this Quake into Zamazetta while this thing doesn't have Protect. And then I guess we'll just, like, Dark Pulse on that thing. We could Taunt, but it's just like, eh. Could Protect. I mean, but he, he hits through Protect, so it's like, dude, we got to take a shot on at this thing. And I might as well go into the Ancient Power because, you know, both of them are going to be not very effective, but we can look to get this uh, stat increase for us. We can look to get this. Quake's going to fly through here. How much damage are we going to do? How much damage are we going to do? I don't think we're going to KO this thing, but we should be doing a nice chunk. Oh my god, yo, Excadrill, chill on him. Excadrill, chill on them. Loving you, Excadrill. I'm loving you. Excadrill hits like a truck, dude. Sand Rush Excadrill with Life Form. Come on, yo. It's goaded. It is goaded. I'm predicting Urshfu going into Tyranitar, but no, he's just been targeting down my extra all game. <laughs> like, dude, he just keeps going after extra. Like, both of his other Pokemon really pose, like, a threat to Tyranitar, and he's just targeting down extra. Which, granted, that's kind of a good move, because, you know, Extra's a monster. He's just a monster here. He's going to drop down here. Each power's going to poke here. Give me the stat boost. We want the stat boost here. Still doing a good chunk of damage. No stat boost. Come on, man. Yo, Titar, you got to be better than that. You got to be better than that, Titar. You gotta be better than that. So we still have our Sash. I could bring out Darmantan. Could bring out you, but I think Darmantan's gonna be our call here. I'm liking Darmantan. Because we could drop Icicle Crash. I think Icicle Crash could take out Urshfu, no problem. We know we're gonna be able to outspeed him. And he's gonna send out who's this? Oh, we can Icicle Crash him. But I do think he's gonna Dynamax him. I'm not even gonna lie. I do think he's gonna Dynamax him. The player, Icicle Crash. Yeah. He's he's gonna Dynamax him. Maybe not guard him, but he's gonna Dynamax him. You know what? I'm just gonna do I double down? No, I got I gotta do some damage onto you. I gotta do some damage onto you. But yo, dude, this Icicle Crash might take out this uh this Thunderous. It's stab is super effective. We have Gorilla Tactics. Hopefully this thing's not Garden. This could be awesome. This would be a great way to end the video if we pick up this KO with this thing. Let's do it. Let's see, let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. We know we're outspeeding with our Darmantan. We just gotta hope he's not Garden. He does not guard. Crash comes out here. Oh my lord. Let's go. Let's go. What a great way to end the video. Awesome, awesome, awesome. He definitely wasn't expecting that. He definitely wasn't expecting a huge Icicle Crash to just dump on his Dynamaxmon. But yeah, there's no better feeling than that. There's no better feeling for, than that. Than just dumping on a Dynamaxmon in one shot. But yo, why does this guy not touch my T-Tar? He is not going after my T-Tar at all. Not one bit. Not one bit. And honestly, every single turn, I thought he was going to uh, go after my Tyrant. But, you know, we're just slowly chipping off. And can we get the stat boost? 
What is up with us not getting a stat boost, man? That's all I want is the stat boost. That's all I want. That is all I want. Kalyx gonna come out here. I think Kalyx outspeeds him. So we can go for an Astral Barrage. We can go for uh, Ancient Power. And this should be GG's. It should be GG's, yo. Should be GG's. And this one comes out here. And this thing's at 222 speed. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous speed. Astral Barrage is an absolute must come out here. And then we're just gonna go for this Ancient Power. Or should we go for Dark Bulls? Now, you know what? Ancient Power's doing enough damage. I'm loving it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. He's going to go for a sucker punch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> this thing gave me with a sucker punch. It's okay. We still have our focus dash. We still have our focus dash, and we're sitting in a great spot. Ancient Power's going to poke here, and we get the stat boost. Or we just take him out. Beautiful. That's awesome. Gotta love it. But even if we didn't take him out, we had our focus dash. We were guaranteed soaking up the next shot, and we would have won the battle anyway. It feels good to be using my favorite combo, x and Tyranitar yet again. x is an absolute beast, especially with that Life Orb and Sand Rush ability. Just outspeeds a lot of Pokemon and hits like an absolute truck. Tyranitar was a little underwhelming in battle number two, but hey yo. Battle number three, he came in clutch, grabbed ourselves that last kill, and grabbed ourselves that win. But this team all around was amazing. I really did like the Darmanitan as well. Had that choice scarves with Gorilla Tactic. We showcased that at the end there and hit like a truck. And then Calyrex all around is just phenomenal. Guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.